Daniel Medvedev versus Yannick Sinner is the final for the Men's Australian Open for 2024. And both have had to fight to get to the final stage. Sinner entered the tournament as the number four seed and will take on Van der Zandtrup in the first round, which is no problem getting through in straights. 6-4, 7-5, 6-3. In the second round, he take on De Jong. And again, no problem getting through in straights. 6-2, 6-2, 6-2. In the third round, he take on the 26th seed, Baez. And this is by far Sinner's best performance. Getting through in straights. 6-love, six 6-1, 6-3. In the fourth round, he take on the number 15 seed, Hashinov. But Sinner was way too good, getting through in straights. 6-4, 7-5, 6-3 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sinner would take on Rublev, the fifth seed. Sinner would again win in straights. 6-4, 7-6, 6-3 to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Sinner would take on the world number one, Novak Djokovic. He would eventually get through in four. 6-1, 6-2, 6-7, 6-3 three, to advance to his first Grand Slam final. Medvedev entered the tournament as the number three seed. and would take on the qualifier at main in the first round. Medvedev would Fight back to win. 5-7-6-2-6-4-1 love. Retirement. In the second round, he'd take on Rusevori. Memvedev would fight back to win. 3-6-6-7-6-4-7-6-6 love. In the third round, he'd take on the 27th seed, Oje Aliassime. With Memvedev getting through in straights. 6-3-6-4-6-3. In the fourth round, he'd take on Borges. And after dropping the third set, Memvedev would wrap it up in four. 6-3-7-6-5-7-6-1 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Memvedev would take on the number nine seed, Hubi Hercatch. And this was a battle. Pushing it all the way to a fifth. 7-6-2-6-6-3-5-7-6-4. With Memvedev advancing to the semi-finals. In the semi-finals, Medvedev will take on the number six, Verev. And after dropping the first two sets, Medvedev would have to fight back to win. 5-7-3-6-7-6-7-6-6-3 to advance to another Australian Open final. These guys have played nine times before with Medvedev holding the record 6-3 in his favor. However, Sinner has won their last three matches. And since the US Open, it's been a different version of Sinner. And Medvedev has yet to beat that guy. Let's go have a look at the shot quality thanks to Tennis Insights. And this is the shot quality scores from the five meetings that have had previously on average, you can see they've both got an identical serve shot quality in 8.2. Medvedev leads the returns with an 8.2, but Sinner on the ground strokes slightly better on average their last five meetings to Sinner with a 9.0 and an 8.5. And the shot quality is calculated in real time by analyzing each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and the impact it has on the opponent. This is a new way of analyzing matches brought to you by Tennis Insights. If you want to check out more, you can go check them out on Twitter. Link down in the description. What a great final. Everyone thought it was maybe going to be Alcaraz versus Djokovic, which wouldn't have been bad, but it's Sinner versus Medvedev. Three versus four. I've got to go with Sinner in this one. I just think his legs are going to outlast Medvedev. I'm going to say Sinner in five. I think it's going to be the hardest match for Sinner so far, and that includes Djokovic. The nerves of his first final, but I think it will outlast Medvedev in the end in five. Let me know down in the comments below who's winning this round open.